Man has always been interested in animals. He builds zoos to introduce people to animals they might otherwise never see. Yet even in the absence of crowds, the zoo is alive. Here in the quiet hours, another day begins for the animals and their keepers. Ten years ago, Otto was brought to Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo from West Africa, where expanding agriculture and lumber operations are destroying the gorilla's habitat, slowly driving them to extinction. Otto was about four years old then, and he managed to adapt to this small cage. But zoo people realized that this 50-year-old building, designed as an exhibition hall, is not a suitable home for a great ape. Recently, the zoo acquired resources to begin modernizing its facilities and built a new home for Otto. This spring day is one of Otto's last in the old building. In one week, Otto, his mate Mumby, and the other apes will be moved to habitats in the zoo's new great ape house. Jim Higgins is the head primate keeper. Much of his day revolves around the routine care and feeding of the animals. Like most keepers, Jim is an animal lover. He has worked at the zoo for 10 years and is probably as close to these apes as any human. The apes eat throughout the day. For their breakfast, Jim cuts oranges and raw horse meat. Eli Lewis prepares some medicine for Mary, a gorilla who has a digestive problem. Females are less than half the size of males. Mary has been a mother twice, and she lives with four-year-old Patty. Oh, here comes Mary. Oh, hi, Mary. Come on, it's that time. It's that getting up time in the morning. is a zoo-born gorilla, and Otto is her father. When gorillas are healthy, compatible, and well-adjusted, they will breed. Successful breeding is important to modern zoos because it enables them to contribute to the populations of endangered animals. They need not take them from the wild. I'll be right back. I gotta see someone else. Obala is another zoo-born female. Otto and Lenore are her parents. She's only two years old and still very dependent on her mother. That tastes good, huh? Gorillas, like many people, are a bit sluggish when they first wake up. And 
and Otto is no exception. Hi, Otto. Big one for you? Years ago, gorillas in captivity failed to breed. Then researchers discovered that a deficiency of the vitamin B complex was one of the factors contributing to the male's sterility. Meat is an efficient source of the B complex, and though gorillas have rarely been observed eating meat in the wild, Otto starts his day with it. Would you get inside, please? Get inside! Get it. You're gonna get left. Get inside! Right now! Easy, Frank. You got me yesterday. Get it. Get in there. Ah, oh, come on. Frank, watch your hands. How about some oranges? Here you go, Frank. Go on, right them out. That off, boy. Where are you two? That's yours. Now leave Kumbas alone. Add up, girl. Plenty for everybody now. Over here. Here, here. Add up, girl. Easy, Frank. Be a nice guy now. Take it easy, Frank. 